Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian over here at the Little Orchard Farm. Welcome to today's video. Today we are cranking up the HM126, the Woodland Mill Sawmill, and we're sawing our first logs. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome day. I've got a couple of logs down on the property on the back side. A couple of videos ago, back when it was snowing, um, we had a tree fall across the road. And Karen moved a couple of the logs down to the far side of the field over here and I'm gonna go pick them up and we're gonna take them over and let those be our first victims on the sawmill. It's a cedar tree, so it should be a nice cut. Who knows, let's see what we can get ourselves into today. Glad you guys are along for the journey. And if you're not subscribed, I encourage you, pop that subscription uh, button below and bang that uh, bell so that you're notified of when our videos come out. We'd love to have you along for the journey as we continue to grow our homestead from the ground up Let's go saw some wood. We got a lot to do today. Let's do this. I can put it back on here, take it forward. That way we ain't got to, can you lift it at all?
Wow. So Karen and I milled our very first uh, piece of lumber. It is a five by five cedar post. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, we could do some one by material out of this. Uh, probably get some one by fours. Um, you know, when you, I, I kind of thought about um, what do you cut when you have a piece of lumber? And it's really what your need is. And Karen and I are both going to be uh, working on uh, our chicken coop. Uh, we've got a chicken tractor to build. We've got some other things. We've got a shed for this uh, piece of equipment, the sawmill, to, to build. And so we've got quite a bit of projects to do. Um, before I walked out here today, though, I had no idea what I was going to cut. I think I just wanted to cut something. So <laughs> mission accomplished. All right, let's get to work on this other one. Uh, we'll get this one moved. And wow, we're having fun now. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, we've loaded up the next log. It is a little over 12 foot long. It is also a cedar as it was part of that other logs tree, same tree. And this is the rest of the trunk, the bottom part of that trunk. So, Let's jump on this bad boy and see what it'll do.
All right, guys, here's what we got. It is a beautiful, beautiful cedar cant. Let's see what we get some dimensions on this. Uh, six by six. So that is a six by six cant. that first tree up and here's what I've learned my very first tree I learned that I'm incredibly paranoid about the salt the log stops um, I, everything that I heard online everything that I read was all about watch your bunk stops don't let those get too low or excuse me don't let the blade get too low or otherwise you're gonna hit those hit these bunk stops here right that's what Karen's getting up right now uh, you're gonna hit those bunk and once it hits that metal bunk stop uh, or log stop uh, your blade is toast and so <laughs> Lesson number one. I learned I am paranoid about it. I was keeping my eye on that thing. I had Karen watching the the um, uh, the logs the uh, log support or the um, uh, What are these called? These are called the something somethings the something somethings these guys right here on the other side that lock the log in place uh, and I had Karen watching those like a hawk to make sure I didn't hit one of those. Um, lesson number two I learned was that uh, you've got to trust your instruments, uh, your measuring tools, and so forth. Uh, so just like just like an aircraft at night, uh, a pilot has to trust his instruments and and really fly blindly, if you will, by his instruments, not by sight. And I think the same goes here is trust your instruments. I, when I first started cutting this log, I was, I was looking down through here to see exactly where it was hitting. And I was kind of, I thought, okay, let me take my tape measure out. No, 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 it's telling you right here. All you gotta do is pay attention. Uh, so that was, that was another lesson. <coughs> pardon me. That was another lesson that I learned. Lesson number three is I probably need to be wearing a mask. Cedar, it's not good for the lungs. Uh, lesson four um i will go back and i will check everything again i think uh checking um about midway through that first log i had an issue with my throttle cable that was not tight enough i need to be checking those things uh, particularly since it's brand new right out of the box and so i'm going to uh go through and, and check and make sure everything is um, tight everything is adjusted nicely and, and so that'll be that uh, what else did we learn I'll tell you what I did learn I did learn that this bad boy right here makes some awesome lumber I mean absolutely beautiful this cedar here that is beautiful lumber um, again I cut essentially three quarter <coughs> three quarter board uh, and we'll be able to use this for uh, siding. Got one huge log there, and then we got another two by here, which is which is almost a true two by. It's one and three quarter, so it's almost a true two by uh, two by six. It's a uh, what is that? Bait? 10, 12 foot, twelve foot or so. Well, all right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us here at the Little Orchard Farm today. What an exciting day! We cut our first tree and uh, there's many many more to come uh, i was excited that karen got to get out here with me and work with me because that's this is something that i think we can do together and it's fun uh, it's manual labor and she loves manual labor <laughs> anyway guys you guys have a great week very blessed week until we see you again the next time we will see you mm -hmm.